What's up everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. This video today is called Putting It All Together. Because I got a comment, and it was just one single comment that I saw that made me start thinking. I was like, you know, there's a lot of new viewers. We're growing at about 150 new viewers a day. And for some reason, you guys are liking the content, and you're saying, wow, it's great content, it's awesome, but you don't go back through the other videos to see what else is there. So then you ask a question that makes me go, but I already have videos out about that. Can you make a video about this? I already have them out. Well, can you do this? I already have that out. And then I get stuff on Facebook. Hey, it'd be a good idea to do a video about this. I'm like, I already have two about that. So go back through the videos. I know there's like 600 something. Of them. I don't even know what actually what's on there what's not. I actually made a video again. I did the double video of um, when my dog Lucky passed away. Apparently I had already made the video in story time and didn't even realize it. So even I don't even know what videos are there. But if you go back through them and search, a lot of your answers you're asking me will be on there. Now the one comment that an individual made was, Jerry, you always have this great information, but you never tell us how to put it together. And I was like, okay, this guy has to be new, or he's seen at least a couple other videos. But the fact that he's telling me, well, I don't, I can't, I can't tell you how to put it together. It's so individual per person. That's what it's for you to do. It's for you to put it together. Okay. The problem is, is you know, a lot of people want specifics like Jerry this, Jerry that, and I'm like, dude, for me to sit down and do all this shit, that's building a program for you. Sticking in all the data that you would give me on training, nutrition, cardio, supplements you're taking, you know, over-the-counter and non-over-the-counter. And I take all that shit and i got to go through all of it, look at it, interpret it, and figure out, well, this is the issue. And most of the time I can figure it out, but that's what my clients pay me for. I can't do that for everybody that, you know, sends me an email, wants you to build them a program when my clients pay me for that. That's not fair. They're paying for that. So I make these videos. These videos are what's for free. And these videos have all the principles in them. And they, you know, I basically am guiding you to these different things that you have to figure out for yourself, but you have to figure them out for yourself. You have to experiment. You have to figure out what combination unlocks the lock that is your body, physique, and mind, and spirit. That's for you to do. It's your journey. Now, it's different if you want someone to help you with your journey. That's fine. But, you know, if you're going to contact me, I can't just help everybody in the world and help them for free because that's not fair to my clients. Now, what I can do is explain a little bit about the three things. These are the big three, okay? The big three, I consider the big three. It's not the bench press, squat, and deadlift. That's not the big three to me, okay? The big three are protein, carbs, and fats. Because you can train your ass off. You can bust your ass. You can take steroids. You can do fucking hours of cardio. If those things are not manipulated the right way, three, 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 if those are not manipulated the right way, <laughs> it's not going to happen, okay? You're going to get results, but they may not be the results you wanted. So let's start off with the first one. Numero uno, protein is number one in my book. How much protein do you need? It depends, but I'll tell you what people don't take into consideration, okay? What they don't take into consideration is the fact that not only do you need protein to build muscle, but you also need protein to take care of hair, skin, nails, etc. There's also protein inside the collagen and stuff inside your joints. And at the same time, some protein gets turned into glucose via gluconogenesis if your diet is done right. That's actually a good thing. Okay? In my book. Now, people are going to go, it doesn't fucking matter. If, if My thing is protein over carbs. Gluconogenesis, if you want to know what that is, it's the creation of glucose via other ways. Protein, okay, can turn into glucose. Now you got to sit there and go, okay, not just based on my muscle mass, but based on these other things. I see people go body weight times 1.25. Well, your body weight is not really how much protein you need. Your lean body mass plus a little extra for those other things. So I know that a lot of people usually do get too much protein off the jump. Um, I would have a tendency to go a little bit, not say lower, but moderate with the protein because you just, you're not, that extra tissue that's in your body that's not muscle mass doesn't really need that extra protein. It doesn't need it for anything. So therefore, your need needs to be down a little bit. So based on your lean body mass and then your, you know, not just your skeletal muscle, but hair, skin, nails, stuff like that, that's how you base your protein needs. Carbohydrate needs. These are the fucking most un misunderstood, worst fucking macronutrient on the face of God's green earth. I swear to God. There's been this huge fucking push lately for a massive amounts of carbohydrates. Now let's back up for a second. Fucking 15 years ago... Jake Cutler was eating 1,000 grams of fucking carbohydrates. Now, let's be 100% fucking frank and real. I, frank and real. It's like Frankenstein. But let's be, let's be real. All right? Now, Jay is a buddy of mine. I'm not dogging him at all. 
But let's face facts. Jay was a big fucking guy with a lot of muscle mass. Okay? Jay also used anabolic drugs while he was competing as a top-level professional body, including the best in the world. And Jay also did cardio all the fucking time in the off-season, too. Sometimes double sessions of 45 minutes a clip on a fucking stair mill. Okay? Based on the stair mill, which burns a shitload of calories and carbohydrates, based on the fact that he took anabolic drugs, which changed the way his body used them, and based on the fact that he weighed over 300-something pounds, and he ate 1,000 grams of carbohydrates. Okay? You got guys that are fucking buck fifty eating seven hundred and fifty grams of carbs, seven hundred and fifty grams of carbohydrates, saying, "Yeah, well, I get great results," and I've seen zero fucking results from these people that are blabbing their mouths about the results. Zero. If you got such great results, you would have a fucking Facebook page with before and afters and all kinds of fucking pictures of yourself. You would have fucking uh, a YouTube channel showing your fucking self eating the, all these carbs. I've watched Branch Warren, who is another big motherfucker who trains as intense as fuck. And he's only eating about 800 grams of carbohydrates. You guys are nowhere near these guys' sizes, taking any of the shit that they are, or doing fucking cardio, and you think, oh, carbohydrates are the key. Now what happens is you get a few people that can get away with it. They start preaching the more carbs, more carbs. Now, everybody loves carbs. Nobody wants to eat massive amounts of protein. Nobody wants to fucking eat fat. They want to eat carbs. They want to eat fucking oatmeal and rice and Pop-Tarts and fucking spaghetti and whatever the fuck else they can. That's the good tasting stuff. So the carbohydrate kick had begun. Carbs, more carbs, more carbs. When I was a kid... More complex carbs to be better at football. More carbs for this. More carbs for that. Do you know how many fucking grams of carbs are burnt during workouts? Like 55 to 60 grams of carbohydrates. That's how much is burnt on a, on a, roughly on a workout. Now, and if you're taking in 800 grams of carbohydrates, which another thing is, a lot of these people lie. They lie. They don't tell you the truth. When you're online, you're on the internet, and you're not face-to-face with somebody and seeing what they do in their fucking house... They lie. Everybody likes to talk about how much food they eat. I'm eating this. I'm eating that. It's bullshit. A lot of it is bullshit. The rest of it, they may be eating that much, but they look like fucking shit. So carbohydrate-wise, I tend to go on the, the low area or the low end of carbohydrates, which for me, a good amount of carbohydrates for me at 235 pounds, okay? A decent solid 235. I'm not a fat slob at 235. That's the not fat slob bicep. 300 grams of carbs gets me just fine through my workouts, through my days, okay? So a good starting point is wherever your protein is, double that protein and that's where your carbs are. Plain and simple, that's a good starting point. Now to get leaner, you may have to adjust those carbs, okay? Just depends on the person. Fat-wise, I like the 60 to 80 gram fat for most people depending on who it is. And I prefer to have them from olive oil, macadamia nut oil, um, almonds, walnuts, natural sources that are not a saturated fat necessarily, which you still need saturated fats, which I still eat from beef, turkey, stuff like that. But those polymonounsaturated, which really help the body burn fat, they barely, barely ever get stored as fat. They're very easy to burn as an energy source. And at the same time, help you digest your fat-soluble vitamins, which you need to have every day. Now, supplement those three micro- macronutrients with the micronutrients, vitamins and minerals. You now have a great base to begin with, okay? So I hope that this video has given you a place to begin with and how to apply things and why I apply things certain ways and why I believe in certain things and why I don't so that next time you're like, well, what the fuck, Jerry? How does this all come together? This is how it all comes together. Now the experimentation takes place. Raising carbs, lowering carbs, raising fats. Maybe you go to keto. If you go to keto, you drop the carbs, raise the fats. You know, if you uh, if you feel like you're not gaining muscle as fast, you, jer- you raise the protein a certain amount, experiment. But this is your baseline starting point for your very own experiment. Training at gmail.com. Leave comments down below. And there's no need to fight, motherfuckers. I just gave you the key. Here's the key. Unlock the door. www.biosetraining.com is the blog. And where the big three unlock the door bicep. Good luck. And we're out.